You're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is equal to 81 to the power of x. This is equal to x to the power of 18. So this is the value of x. Now let's provide a solution from here. So we have 81 raised to the power of x. This is equal to x to the power of 18. Now we're going to solve this by applying two methods A. Let's start with method one. In method one, 81 to the power of x and x to the power of 18. Let's introduce logarithm on both sides. So we have rog 81 to the power of x. This is equal to rog x to the power of 18. So this is in the form of rog a to the power of b, which we can express as b rog a. Applying this power rog property, then this means that rog 81 to the power of x, this can be expressed as x rog 81. This is equal to, now rog x to the power of 18 becomes 18 rog x. Now, let's divide both signs by x so that now x and x here simplifies so that we have rog 81 this is equal to 18 multiplied by rog x divided by x the next step is to multiply both signs by 1 over 18 and also here multiplying by 1 over 18 so let's simplify here 18 and 18 simplifies and here we have rog 81 divided by 18. This is equal to rog x divided by x. Now, here we can express 81. This is the same thing as 9 to the power of 2. Substituting 9 to the power of 2 here. So this means we have rog 9 to the power of 2 divided by 18. This is equal to rog x divided by x. The next step is to apply the power of property here so that rog 9 to the power of 2, this becomes 2 rog 9 divided by 18. This is equal to rog x divided by x. So here we have 2 and 18 here, so we can simplify here. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 18 defined by 2, this is equal to 9. So we have rog 9 divided by 9. This is equal to rog x divided by x. So if you check here, we have rog x over x and rog 9 over 9. So this means that here, that rog 9 is equal to rog x. Now, if we drop this logarithm, we have that x is equal to 9. And again, if you check here, x is equal to 9. So we conclude that by the first method here, x is equal to 9. Now let's apply method 2. Method 2 from here, we have 81 raised to the power of x, this is equal to x to the power of 18. So let's eliminate this power here by multiplying both signs by 1 over x. This is equal to x to the power of 18, multiplying by 1 over x. So let's simplify here, and this means that 81 is equal to x to the power of 18 raised to the power of 1 over x. The next step is that x to the power of 18 raised to the power of 1 over x. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of m raised to the power of n. Applying this exponent property, then we have 81. This is equal to 
x to the power of 1 over x, then raised to the power of 18. Now, let's eliminate this power here by multiplying both signs by 1 over 18. By 1 over 18. So we have 81 raised to the power of 1 over 18. This is equal to x to the power of 18 and 18 simplifies. So this is x to the power of 1 over x. We can write this as x to the power of 1 over x. This is equal to 81 raised to the power of 1 over 18. Now, we can express 81. This is the same thing as 9 to the power of 2. So this means that x to the power of 1 over x, this is equal to 9 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 1 over 18. So this is again in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which can be expressed as a to the power of n times m. Applying this exponent property, then x to the power of 1 over x, this is equal to 9 to the power of 2 times 1 over 18. So let's simplify here. 18 divided by 2, this is equal to 9. So this means that x to the power of 1 over x, this is equal to 9, raised to the power of 1 over 9. So you can check the base here. And the exponent is the same and the base and the exponent is the same so this means that x is equal to 9 we have that x is equal to 9 by applying method 2 now let's check if this value of x satisfies the equation which is 81 raised to the power of x this should be equal to x raised to the power of 18 so this is 81 raised to the power of 9, this is equal to 9 raised to the power of 18. We can express 81, this is the same thing as 9 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 9, which we can as, which is, should be equal to 9 to the power of 18. Now, this is 9 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 9. So if you multiply here, 2 times 9, this means we have 9 to the power of 2 times 9, which is 18. And this is equal to 9 to the power of 18. And this means that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this concludes that the value of x here, which is 9, satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.